And uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Saturday edition of New Distributor Training. My name's Fred Holmes. I'm an independent distributor with Isagenics, and uh, I endorse this message. Actually, I was probably a little bit, uh, uh, getting a little too caught up in the politics, I think. Uh, uh, excited about this morning, folks. Uh, some of you were um, uh, maybe uh, you know, plugged into me on Facebook. You saw the, the uh, post uh, for today's training, or maybe you're on my email list. You got that. Uh, new distributor checklist, you know, get your, get your new distributors off to fast start. And I'm going to go through quite a few things real quickly here. What I'd like to do is, is give you some information, you know, kind of, you know, my format for getting a new person launched and then, uh, you know, open it up for questions and answers, anything that you want me to maybe delve a little bit more deeply into. And so feel free to, uh, to utilize the chat box. Those of you that are on handheld devices, uh, what you need to do is just tap your screen. You'll see the little chat bubble and you can uh, put something in there for me and, uh, and feel free to do so. Uh, grab your journal. Hope you got that ready to go. Got my notes ready to go. Um, this is one of the most important things to understand about building a network marketing business. Uh, first thing, it's, uh, it's not really uh, rocket science, okay? There's, there's really not a lot that we do to build this kind of business. Um, certainly, um, if you, you know, broke it down, there's maybe five or six things uh, that we do that are gonna make 80% you know, of the difference in your business. And when you, when you recognize the, the amount of income that can be earned um, in this type of business, uh, certainly 80% of, of, of those numbers it would be a fortune. Uh, you know, sales is the highest paid profession in the world. Uh, and network marketing leads that, okay? There are very successful salespeople out there, uh, but their incomes pale compared to what a, you know, a modest network marketing business can provide for you. Um, but it's important to understand that the simplicity of what we do, uh, you know, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Good news, bad news, right? Uh, duplication is the key to success. Keeping your process simple uh, is going to be a key to being able to, to duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. Duplication is the key to success. Now, here's the downside. Duplication is inevitable. Okay, duplication is absolutely inevitable. Whatever you do will tend to be duplicated by the people that you're working with. And so what's important to understand is that you want to have good duplication. Uh, I hesitate to say correct duplication because there's many different ways to do this. As unique as every individual is, you're gonna find that same level of uniqueness in what they do. Well, what I'm gonna share with you this morning is simply what I do. Okay, and you will find you take the most successful people uh, in our company and in our profession in network marketing, you will find a, a, a very strong correlation between what their process is and what I'm going to share with you. Uh, this is not necessarily unique. Find your little nuances here and there. Uh, but the important thing is to keep these, these concepts in, in, in mind. And I like to keep everything very, very simple. You know, sim simple things duplicate much faster than complicated things. Um, I remember one time uh, watching a, uh, you know, a, a top performer uh, do a training on the eight things, the eight steps to a successful, uh, you know, third party validation call. And, you know, for me, eight things, I mean, you're using up almost all your fingers on that. For me, there were only four things that were necessary to have a successful, um, you know, third party validation call. And, uh, you know, and I'm not saying I'm the end all end all, but, you know, one of the things I learned very early is simple things duplicate easier. And I'm still here, multi million dollar earner. And that person that had eight steps to his uh, um, successful third party validation call, he's not here anymore. So, uh, take that for what it's worth, okay? So uh, I like to keep everything, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, if, if at all possible, because when you get that process down, step one, step two, step three, do it again. Step one, step two, step three, do it again. That's the kind of thing you can get into a rhythm and start building momentum in your business. 
Uh, one of the other, you know, key phrases that should always be in your notes is, um, uh, you know, in addition to uh, duplication is the key to success, is, is to understand that the process is more important than the actual activities, okay? Everybody's going to have a little different way of doing things, but the process is what you want to focus on. And so I keep things simple, step one, step two, step three. And so, for example, how do you build your business? Step one, you know, what do you, what, what do, you do with a new distributor as you're building your business? Step one, get them in. That's the first step. They got to be in the business before you can start working with them. Step two, get them trained. Okay. Now, what's important to understand is, for the most part, getting trained is not something that you as the sponsor should do. You should get them trained using tools because if you're the great trainer, then the, your new distributor is going to perceive that the way to become successful is to be a great trainer. And the fact of the matter is some of the most successful people in our profession are not necessarily the top trainers. They're the top producers. Big difference. Uh, one of my favorite lines, you know, those that can do, those that can't teach right? In our profession, you earn the privilege of teaching because you've demonstrated you could do the doing, right? Uh, I, I, it's amazing to me how many people have never really been truly successful uh, in network marketing uh, that sell their network marketing train, okay? You know, there's an abundance in the world today of life coaches who have yet to actually be able to achieve the balance, the success, the prosperity, the fulfillment in their life that they are teaching to others. You can't teach something that you don't know. You can't give something you don't have. Okay. Two little things I was teaching my sons as they were growing up. Now, three steps, get in, get trained, get going. Okay, and we're gonna talk about those three things real quickly. Getting in, and, the, and we've talked about that on previous um, uh, you know, trainings. Um, you know, there's a process to getting your new person uh, to go from you know, uh, having an interest in what you're, you're sharing with them to actually engagement, whether that be uh, becoming a customer or perhaps becoming a distributor. Okay, there's a process. Now, what's important to understand for today's training is whatever you did in the in the process of prospecting, introducing, um, and getting their engagement will be what they tend to do. So be very careful in your prospecting process. Uh, you know, be careful about how your invitation was. Um, make it something that's simple and duplicatable. Uh, you know, the information, you know, providing them with some information. Keep it simple. Keep it duplicatable. Uh, the validation, you know, the three things I talk about, you know, invitation, presentation, validation, step one, step two, step three. Many of you have heard um, peak, pass, plug. You know, peak their interest, plug them into a tool, pass them to a, to a third party to, to validate the opportunity or the products. Uh, same concept. Now, be careful what you're doing. Follow those three steps, but keep it simple. Because again, how you introduce and engage a new person will tend to be the process they use. If you rely upon, you know, superior skills in presentation or superior skills in, you know, whatever you may, you know, may be special about you, you're minimizing the potential for your new distributor to be able to have the same results because they're not as good as you. So keep it very simple. Now, step two is to get trained. Here I'm gonna suggest again, three things. And this is just what I'm using, all right? And, and, I, and I suggest, you know, certainly use these tools if you want. Uh, look for others if you desire. Uh, the key factor here, in, from my perspective, is make it simple and take yourself out of the loop. Don't be the person that's the trainer. 
be the person that can direct your new person to the training because you want them to be able to move fast. You don't want them to become a professional present presenter, trainer, polished speaker, what have you. You want them to be able to do this quickly. So getting trained, okay, real simple. Number one, a few basic training materials. I'm gonna recommend that you use uh, the first 30 minute um, new distributor training video that I cut a couple of years ago. It's available on my uh, YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com. I'll put it in the chat box. That way you've got a reference. Uh, where are we at here? I'm going to send this to everybody. Go to um, uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija forward slash playlists. Okay, so. Um, Go to youtube.com forward slash Fred Holmes Zija. That's my name, followed with Z I J A, and then forward slash playlist. Um, or if you just go straight to the YouTube channel, you see the playlist, uh, playlist tab. Now, uh, there are four little videos there. And, uh, you know, I recommend them because I did them. No, uh, not, not for the, you know, the quality of the presentation or what have you, for the content. Okay, the very first one is called New Distributor Training. It's 30 minutes long. It's a compilation of everything that I learned, have learned uh, over the past, what, 35 years in this profession. More importantly, it is very much a model of the New Distributor Training. We used to call it Saturday Morning New Distributor Training uh, with my very first company. My very first company, uh, I joined them back at the end of 1984. And, you know, went full time early part of 85. Um, that was a long time ago, trust me. Um, we had this same training every Saturday morning. That's kind of a clue. The new distributor training took place every Saturday morning with these concepts. And so uh, I encourage you to use that. It's 30 minutes, which will give your new distributor a real good foundation in what it is that we do in network marketing and how we do it. And really that's who we're looking for. We're looking for somebody that has goals, aspirations. Uh, they see an opportunity through using our products and our, in our uh, business uh, platform to achieve those goals and aspirations. And the person we're looking for, all they want to know is what it is we do and how do we do it? Okay, they're going to be willing to do the doing part. They're the ones with the goals and aspirations. They just need to know what do we do and how do we do it. And so that 30 minute video will be a great foundation. And what's cool about it is you don't have to be the trainer. You simply direct them to a tool for their training. Another one that I really, really encourage you to get used to using is a, uh, uh, it's, a it's, it's a little less than an hour long. Uh, it's something that was done by Jim Rohn. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. I don't give you the link because it moves around from time to time. It's, you know, copyrighted material and people post the, uh, the training. Uh, I actually bought the CD. Is it right here? No, it isn't. Um, you know, I bought the CD a long time ago. Um, but it's a powerful, powerful training and a great way to understand what do we do in network marketing to build a successful business. So go to YouTube and then just search for how to build your network marketing business, uh, how to build your network marketing distributorship, check for either one, uh, by Jim Rohn. And you'll see many, many links uh, there. And uh, it's an audio uh, performance from Jim, uh, who's, you know, passed a number of years ago, but, uh, you know, powerful, powerful stuff but it's really a great way to introduce your new distributor to the concepts that will help them for a long, long time in building their business. So a couple of tools for that initial training. Now, uh, some, some additional things that you're gonna wanna get with them in your training, and, and understand from the day they place their initial order, You've got a couple of days, you know, depending upon, you know, where they are and what have you. You've got two, three, four days before the product shows up. So you want to keep your new person excited and in the loop. And that's one of the best things to utilize that downtime. It'd be great if they could say, yes, I'm ready to go. Let me buy my, uh, my starter package and then hand them the package. That'd be great. But that's typically not what's going to happen. I mean, that's rarely going to happen. 
And so this is a great time while they're excited about the decision they've made to start, you know, to start the, you know, this journey of their, of developing their network marketing business to get them some firm foundation. So when the product shows up, they'll be ready to go. So um, things like, you know, developing a prospect list, handful of things, let's call this number 200, get trained, how to develop a prospect list. Um, the concept of developing their own personal story and the components of that story. Um, I like also introducing the concept of a 90 day game plan, something that at the beginning of their business, they can quickly launch their business, get into profitability and start developing momentum. One of the worst things that can happen for a brand new distributor is taking months to get their first customer, you know, months to get their first, you know, paycheck, you know, beyond a few dollars. It's very difficult for people to sustain that level of enthusiasm and energy if nothing happens. Now, those three things, how to build a prospect list, how, how to have a large list of people to talk to, um, te learning how to develop the story, um, you know, the concept of a 90-day game plan, you will find three trainings, one each on those topics. They're about 10 minutes long. And they're on, again, my YouTube channel, go to the playlist, you know, youtube.com forward slash Fred Home Zija, and then click on the playlist tabs. You'll find three little videos there. Use those, okay? They cost nothing, all right? Uh, again, I'm not saying they're the greatest things in the world, but the content is good. That's why I did it, because it's good content. And, you know, if you have other things, uh, you know, other resources, you know, many of you that, uh, that attend these trainings, uh, you know, aren't part, necessarily part of our organization. You represent a lot of organizations within Zija. And, you know, consult with your upline diamond. Ask them the kinds of things that, that they may direct you to, because they're going to have some great ideas for you. And so th this isn't, you know, the only thing that you can do. It is a formula for providing some basic information for your new person that'll steer them in the right direction, especially during that that first two, three, four days between the time that they signed up and the time that they actually get their product and can start working. Now, uh, again, under uh, um, getting trained, some skills that your new person is going to want to be able to to have, and and this isn't something that they have to master these skills in the beginning. Uh, you model these skills when you're working with them. And they will, you know, we want them to engage in the process and learn as they're earning. So some skills, let's talk about three. The invitation, now that's a basic skill. How to invite somebody to, to take a look. <coughs> I talk about that in that new distributor training, that first video I mentioned. Um, tools, having, uh, you know, a handful of tools and how to use those tools. Uh, one of the great things about Isagenics is they have a tremendous number of tools. I mean, it's, it's really incredible, the, uh, the, the, the content that's available from the company. That's, that's good news and bad news. You know, bad news is they got lots of tools, all right? My personal suggestion uh, is select a couple of tools that are meaningful to you. Be able to provide those to your new distributor. Uh, you may have, uh, you know, they've, they've, there's lots on, on their YouTube channel. Go to their Vimeo channel, Isagenics. Um, I like the ISA movie, you know, isamovie.com. I like that because it's simple and it covers the basics. You know, there's product introductions. There's, pro there's introductions to, you know, uh, people that are looking for, you know, nutrition, health and wellness, vitality. Um, you know, income opportunity. There's five different sections there with a couple of short little videos for each one. Uh, it's kind of a one size fits all and it's a single link. And so I like that one myself personally. Um, finally, the, the third party introduction, because see, that's going to be part of the process. You want to be able to have your new distributor be able to do that third component of the process invitation, presentation, validation, or peak pass plug. Uh, and you want them to be comfortable introducing their prospect to an upline person to validate, whether it's validating the product or validating the opportunity. Now, 
uh, we've done trainings on that as well. And I encourage you to, to, you know, search my YouTube channel for Saturday morning trainings, put in, uh, you know, three-way calling, third-party validation. It'll pull up a couple of trainings for you. I'll give you the, the simple, you know, the, the, the cheat sheet, if you will. You want your new person, your new distributor to introduce you as the upline. Uh, you're going to want them to do something along the lines of introduce you, you know, based upon your, your rank. You reference some income, you know, results. Uh, throw in a third component, which is really great guy. You know, a really nice gal. Big help to me in building my business. Okay, that'll start to establish your credibility. You want them to be able to uh, uh, edify you. Um, and you're going to want them to, to be able to start the process of understanding how we build the business. The new distributor doesn't have to know what to do because working with the upline, that might be you, uh, that we're the people that are here to help them. Really nice people big help to them in building their business. And then the cross edification. You want your new distributor to understand when they're then introducing their prospect to you to say three things, basically. Say something nice about them, you know, great family man, good guy, you know, um, whatever. Uh, say something relevant, okay? You know, they've got a lot of experience uh, working with people, um, you know, something that would let the prospect realize he has a background or skills uh, that would be, uh, a, you know, would make them successful in our type of business. Third component, something about their why, why they're looking for this, you know, looking for a way to create a, you know, a, an income from home so they can get, keep from having to commute an hour each way to work. Something about why they're looking. That way the, the upline knows where to go in the conversation. So just a real simple format for introducing, because honestly, the people that you sponsor that spend the most time introducing you to their prospects, they're the ones that are going to move the fastest. That's why this particular skill, you know, the three-way introduction uh, process is going to be very important to your new distributors. Now, finally, get going. The third component, get in, get trained, get going. I like to take, and this is how I do it personally, okay? What I like to do is I like to take the new person and, and you know, spend maybe 20 or 30 minutes with them. It could be a Zoom meeting, it could be a phone call, what have you, and go through these basic things. You know, number one, we want to establish some long-term goals and short-term goals. And I said it like, like that specifically. Uh, I like to start the process of dreaming because unless a person has a vision there's no possibility they're going to be able to achieve what they could. Their, their level of achievement is going to be whatever the level of the vision is. So let's start talking a little bit about what would you like to have from your new home-based business, say, three to five years from now? Would you like it to be a full-time income? Would you like it to be a high-level income? What would you like to have three to five years from now? And one of the things I'm doing is I'm setting into place a long-term game plan. Somebody who wants to get involved in our type of business and their game plan only revolves around the first 90 days, they're probably going to be gone in 90 days, okay? Because the expectations for achievement within that 90 days will probably be way too high for 90 days. Uh, if you look at my career, uh, you know, I was never the overnight, you know, superstar. It took a long time to build my business. Now, what I did, especially this, this, this uh, second time with Zija, you know, I understood it. I'd already done this before. Uh, I'd already retired from the industry after 10 years, you know, a number of years before this. So I understood it was going to take time. Okay. I had a goal. My long-term goal was to make a million dollars. Okay. Not necessarily everybody's goal, but it was my goal. And one of the concepts for me was I was going to stay with it until I made that. You know, it wasn't a wish. It wasn't a hope. I was going to do the deal until I achieved that goal. Now, that goal was passed, you know, many times over, you know, years ago. But I had a long-term goal. I also had, in my mind, a 36-month game plan because I knew it would take 36 months of consistent activity to build the level of income that I wanted. And that's what happened. You know, first 
first 90 days, wasn't that much money. First year, wasn't that much money. Second year was a lot of money. Third year was a lot of money. Matter of fact, third year income was more than double the first two years. And by the end of the fourth year, I'd already achieved that first goal of a million dollars plus, and the second million came in half the time the first million came. It's a compounding effect. And we wanna to start to, with, with our conversation and how we phrase things, we wanna help people start to understand this is not going to be a get rich quick overnight thing. However, it can be a get rich quick thing as long as you define what rich is. How long does it take the average American to make a million dollars? Well, if the average American makes, you know, 50,000 a year, um, it's going to take, what, 20 years? Okay. Would you like to do it in less than, than four years? Maybe that is get rich quick. I don't know. So uh, long-term goals and then the short-term goals. Now, short-term goals, this is where you start to set up the exact activities your, your new distributor is, is going to be doing. See, our job is to give them the game plan, okay? And their job is to do the work. Short-term goals, let's talk about getting into profitability. Well, if somebody starts with the basic pack, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the $300, uh, you know, personal uh, uh, nutrition package, um, getting into profitability, here's a simple step. Get to, help them get to, and you're in profit. And actually, it'll happen much quicker than that. I believe if you, you, in, you the, the, the PIB product introduction bonus for basic packs, 25 bucks. Uh, if you get two, do it in the same week, they'll give you double that. So that's $100. Get $100 for a crystal consultant bonus. Do that in the first 30 days. Another $50 for developing a consultant. You're almost in profitability right there. But the, the, the whole concept uh, is a short-term goal and the first short-term goal should be to make your money back, all right? And so that's kind of the foundation of the goals. Number two, a game plan. And the game plan, I just said it, okay? Help your new person enroll their first two people and then help them enroll two people themselves. Now, the first two people, let's say that your new distributor gets two customers. Now, those two customers may have absolutely, at this moment in time, no interest in building a business. They already recognize the value of product. Spend $300 to get your, your nutrition program. You got 60 meals for the month at five bucks a meal. I mean, that's a bargain. Just in the money you're saving on the food that you would be eating, you're going to get your money back. So you may have to enroll two or three or four or five people with your new distributor before you find two that want to build a business. Now, the two that want to build a business, the very first thing, and, and keep be real clear about this, when your new distributor enrolls two people that want to build a business, it's not their responsibility to help their new people get to, it's your responsibility. Because your brand new distributor doesn't have the experience and the skill sets that you do. You want to be able to show your new distributor this concept of building in depth. Start working with their two new distributors as if you personally sponsored them. Trust me on this. This is a key. If you are constantly working down line and working with brand new people and teaching them these fundamentals, you're, the people between you and them, they're learning from the process. They're watching it again. You're helping them build their story. You're helping them create income. Uh, if there's a single thing that I have done in my personal business that has uh, been responsible for the level of, of financial success I've had is that I'm constantly working down line looking for, you know, that 20%. Okay, the one that really wants to do the deal and helping them is if I personally sponsored them, even though there may be five, 10, 20, 30 people between me and them. Okay, now finally, uh, on, on the get going component, DMO, daily method of operation, helping your new person understand that consistency of effort is the key to success. Okay. 
developing a daily method of operation. And this is critical because the reality is, I mean, if you, you know, it's just basic numbers, right? 95% of the world works for 5% of the world. 95% of the world are employees. Only 5% of the world are employers, you know, business owners. And if you think about it, as an employee, you are not responsible for determining what your activities are, when they take place, specifically what you do, monitoring your results, correcting behavior to, to maximize results. The business owner is the one that, business owner tells you when to show up, what your duties are, okay? They're the ones that are evaluating your performance. They're the ones that are helping you correct to create greater profitability. And because most people have never been self-employed, we need to help them with self-employment concepts. And so setting up a daily method of operation, helping them with that. Uh, I've done some trainings on that before. Again, go to the, you know, when you're in my YouTube channel, in the search box there, when you're searching in my channel, type in DMO or daily method of operation, and you'll find several different trainings where I talk about that. So that's kind of a checklist, if you will. Uh, I want to break it into three simple categories, get in, get trained, get going. Under get in, that's the whole concept of prospecting, helping people, you know, lead them to further action and so on. But the key under that, that first topic is whatever you do is going to be duplicated by your new person. So keep that process simple. Keep it, you know, a simple introduction get them some information, get them some third party validation, can continue that process until they make a decision. Yes, I'm in, no, I'm not. Okay, keep that simple. Number two, get trained. Again, three simple things, you know, a couple of training items. You know, I suggested my, you know, new distributor training, the 30 minute video. I suggested uh, uh, Jim Rohn's How to Build Your Network Marketing Business. Great foundational things. Um, number two, help them with some specifics like developing a prospect list, developing their story, a 90 day game plan, and then some basic skills, the invitation, how to use tools, third party validation. Getting going, again, three simple things. Set some long term and short term goals, help them develop a game plan. What's a game plan? Get to, help them get to. And then finally, establishing a daily method of operation. Now, I'm gonna add one more thing in here. And, uh, and this is kind of simple, but it's, it's one of the things I find missing an awful lot, uh, some basic orientation. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot of time to do this. Uh, actually, if you spend more than a few minutes on this orientation, you're probably doing a disservice to your new distributor. Uh, I like to take a couple of minutes and you know, help my new distributor log into their back office so that they can you know, feel comfortable accessing that resource. Um, show them how to enroll a new customer, a new distributor, how to monitor their own you know, product purchases and auto ship. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of time there because you don't make any money there, okay? Spend a lot of time in your back office, you're not doing share the product, share the opportunity, teach others to do the same. But I do want my new person, as soon as he's got, you know, somebody ready to buy the product, I want them to feel comfortable that they can actually, you know, get them the product, okay? Uh, I also like to do some um, uh, upline introductions, modeling that third-party uh, introduction protocol uh, and giving my new distributor some resources to people besides myself that they can go to uh, for assistance. All right. And so, you know, doing, doing a few of those things, introducing to a couple of the offline or sideline, but we'll be there to help them in case you're not able to do that third party validation call. So just a few little things there. Um, what I want to do here is take the, the balance of the time and, and have you engage. I went through a lot of things very quickly. What is it that would be helpful to you to get a little bit more in-depth information on? Okay. And I'm going to look at my chat box here and feel free, you know, don't, don't worry about asking a silly question. I guarantee you the question that you want to ask is probably the question other people are hoping somebody else will ask. Okay. So feel free, anything that, uh, that I can offer for you. Uh, and while you're composing your thoughts, um, 
we've got an incredible thing happening right now. We are probably within eight weeks of the full merger between uh, ZG International and uh, Isagenix. It's an incredibly powerful time. Now, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news first, okay? It's a bit of a challenge, okay? We don't have access to all of the Isagenix products. Uh, we don't have uh, access to the complete uh, Isagenix um, uh, compensation plan. However, Isagenix has done a powerful job, an incredible job of giving us access to many, many, many of their products and an awful lot of their compensation plan. Okay, layered on top of Zegis compensation plan, we're getting uh, product introduction bonuses. I just got a product introduction bonus, uh, you know, this week from a, a new uh, distributor that I just enrolled. Uh, we've got uh, the crystal bonuses. You know, I made a few hundred dollars uh, this past um, uh, um, period by getting, what was it? I forget. Crystal manager, still trying to work on, on the terminology. Uh, and so that's being layered on top of the Zija compensation plan right now. Um, the, the good news is, and, and this is the part you need to focus on, everything is going to pop wide open in the middle of July when we make that final transition. We're going to have 100% access to all of the Isagenix products, 100% access to all of the, uh, the Isagenix compensation plan. Um, if I, if I look and I haven't done the numbers, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to guess I would probably have earned an additional 30, maybe even 40% more income over the past 12 years had I been using the Isagenix compensation plan. I mean, that's a lot of money. And so, you know, good news, bad news. Bad news is the next eight weeks, we have some challenges. Okay. Good news is those of you that stay consistent get a new customer in, get a new distributor in, help that customer get good product results so they want to continue to reorder and reorder and potentially have a few of their friends get on the product as well. Um, get your new distributor in, help them get a couple of new distributors, help them get their new people in, get them trained, get them going. For those of you that do not look at the challenges over the next eight weeks, but look at the opportunity to fill your funnel, to develop a foundation, and especially for those of you that have existing organizations, build a foundation of a new freshman class. When everything opens up in mid-July, oh, and I think that's the date, July 15th, is what they're, what they're shooting for, you will skyrocket your business. It will be phenomenal how fast you will move during the summer and into the fall because you laid the groundwork over this next eight weeks. So I'm looking here, uh, uh, I couldn't possibly have been that thorough. Maybe I was, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, we'll give you one last chance. If there is a question you'd like me to help with, we'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, this upcoming week, we've got uh, you know uh, health talks with Pat Anderson. Wednesday evenings that uh, you can access that through uh, her website, uh, clubmoringa.com. And uh, that's uh, 9.30 Eastern time Wednesday evenings, an hour earlier on Thursday evening at 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, I'll be back here again doing uh, the business presentation, Biz Talks with Fred. And then we'll all be back here again on Saturday morning. I'm going to have a guest trainer with me next Saturday. So Good for you guys. You don't have to listen to me. I'm going to have somebody else who's really good be able to, to join, uh, join me on, uh, on Saturday. And uh, with no other questions, I'm going to go ahead and call it, uh, call it a morning. Uh, I hope you're all having a great time. I hope that you get out a little bit. Uh, you know, I know that there's uh, you know, the, the, the whole lockdown thing going on. Uh, but last I heard, you're still allowed to, to walk around your own neighborhood. Okay, and so do that. Get out, get a little fresh air, get a little sunshine, feel good about yourself. And we'll see you all next week at those presentations. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you had a great time. Hope you learned something. All right, take care. Have a great weekend.